everyone. I'm Qian Ruwang from Xipian University in China. The title of our paper is As Urban Stable Prediction for Unseen Urban Data from Location-Based Sensors. Firstly, I introduce the background of our work. With the rapid and continued urbanization around the world, new smart devices increase in size and are largely distributed to new cities or regions. It indicates that massive and unseen data occurs, which follows different data distribution from training data. As shown in figures, we can find more and more back stations appear over three years, and the demands of the new station will follow different patterns from existing stations. We call them as non-ID data. So the trained prediction model will face performance degradation when non-ID data appears. Recently, many studies start to investigate non-ID data for classification tasks. They mainly discover the domain-independent features, also called invariant features, across environments. However, for special temporal uh, prediction tasks, the thing is different because they show different patterns in different uh, environments. Though we can use global patterns across different environments, we should also capture the unique characteristics. Here we present two relevant studies, cross-city prediction and domain generalization. Our problem is very, very similar to cross-city prediction tasks. Many studies try to learn an intercity uh, matching to adapt the unseen data, which are mainly domain adaptation, adaptation uh, tasks. Note that there is a main difference between domain adaptation and domain generalization. Adaptation methods often use the knowledge in target domain, but the domain generalization methods only consider training data. So there are few spatial temporal prediction methods investigate on um, cross-domain prediction without knowledge in target domain. And the recent domain generalization methods focus on classification tasks which cannot directly apply to regression tasks. We can formally state the problem as shown in this slide. When we obtain the data from different environments, ID tasks predict samples from existing environments, but non-ID tasks predict samples from unseen environments. So to address the the non-ID task in spatial temporal prediction, as mentioned before, the target value is influenced by the combination of invariant features and unique features across environments. But how to distinguish these two features from raw data? So we make two assumptions. Uh, the first assumption is that the invariant features and the unique features should not be overlapped. And the Second assumption is that unique features in different environments should not be overlapped. Uh, following the idea, we propose a novel framework but easy to apply to different spatial temporal methods, which only need to reform the existing prediction methods with two parallel uh, encoders, FU and uh, FH. Specifically, uh, encoder FU is used to capture invariant features across environments. Suppose if we can obtain the invariant features, the model will not overfit data in any environments. So we use a constraint to avoid overfitting. Then we used uh, encoder FH to capture unique patterns in each environment. In each environment, get Getting by uh, assumptions, unique features will not overlap uh, among environments. So we obtain unique features by minimizing the distance of FU's of outputs with contrastive learning-based objective. Finally, we use the combination of invariant and the unique features to predict the target Y. In order to uh, Update the parameters of encoders and decoders. We use different loss functions as shown in the red figures. We evaluate our work on back demands 
is a data site and the water quality data site. And we compare with ERM method without considering uh, domain generalization and the uh, four domain generalization methods. Obviously, we can find that each method perform worse under non-ID setting. It, in it indicates that non-ID data is more challenging pro problem in spatial temporal prediction. Then we compare the performance of methods on different test environments. Specifically, T1 set is the closest to the uh, training environments and T3 set is the furthest. From the results, we can find that ERM without considering domain generalization performs worst. It suggests that environment features are important in cross-domain prediction. We can also find that as urban outperforms other domain generalization methods because we uh, capture unique features, which is also important in urban prediction tasks. Further, as urban constantly performs the best, even in T3 set with the larger uh, spatial temporal shift, it also suggests the importance of unique features. It is also necessary to evaluate the effects of the number of training environments. We can find the results in the lesser figure. The arrows become more stable when the number of environments ranges from 3 to 5, but the performance is better when the number of environments is 3, but not 5. Uh, the reason may be that the shifts among uh, environments become more smaller when the number is 5. It also suggests that the distinct uh, shift is more important to improve the model's generalizability. Uh, finally, we visualize the distributions of uh, uh, features as shown in red figures. We find that all invariant features are clustered well in unique features are far apart. Additionally, the distance between unique features are larger in water data side because the environments are, signif are significantly different in the water data side. That's all. Thank you for listening. All right, well, we'll invite all our speakers to come up for the panel session. have 20 minutes or so just to have a general talk about tracking localization or if you have specific questions about individual papers. Time as well, you can come to the microphones or